Oh my God. <laughs> What's this? Got this is bacon. Look. <laughs> Pageant of our colleges, presented by the good folk of UAL. Something a bit ooh la la about this. Wow, well they've been at it, haven't they? Hello, I'm Grayson Perry. I am the Chancellor of the University of the Arts London. And I've just been looking at all the designs for my 2019 Chancellor's robes, and I'm really impressed. But in the end, the criteria are, you know, do I like it? Will it work as a Chancellor's robe, and will it look Spectacular. It might look like you had an accident with your pavlova on the way over. Is it, what is, what, is, is it? <laughs> I don't, I'm not. I'm not that shape. I'm full. I think what if there's any notes to give the students? Finish up a drawing of like what it really going to look like with me in it, not with a model. Actually, it's used for the airport. So I'll be wearing a bit of sort of road marking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of me that quite likes the kind of waitress in a milk bar. Um, uh, <laughs> look. Uh, it's inspired by the motorcycle, the wheel. Yeah, the tyre grips. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like your palette very much. The this is very nice, one. the way it shows at the top there yeah. like that. Do you work directly with the fabric? Because that's what's sort of lacking here a bit, is the actual yeah. how we make the garment. Mm. And that's a first, actually, designing the shoes as well. Do you know how to make footwear? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I never met him before, so it was like for me, yeah. really yeah. Great, big thing okay. that I got this opportunity okay. to okay. meet him. That was just like, so wow. I think it's quite nervous but uh, excited as well. I'm so honoured and excited to can attend uh, this interview and actually I'm so nervous. I feel very excited. I was very happy to meet him because I really admire his work. Well, it's very exciting to present to Grayson today. It still feel like a dream. I have been wanting to meet him for so long, talking to someone who is so brave to wear his own style. OK, thank you all for all your efforts. The winner is... Rachel. <laughs> I mean, this year the, the quality of the shortlist was really great, you know, so it was the hardest year to make the decision. In the end, you have to make a kind of balance between the kind of uh, the craft and the fact that you're showcasing the UAL and, it, and its design talent of the students and also um, practicality and how it will look on the stage in front of thousands of people, you know, so it's got to have impact as well. When Greta chose me, it was really huge emotion. I think the biggest technical challenge uh, for this design is creating the volume but with lightness to it. Like Grayson can feel comfortable wearing it for a few hours at a time. You might need a bit more. It's looking quite... Okay. Okay. Needs a bit more. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bit on the drawing, there's no pleating in the coat. But here it's all, it's all pleated. The other thing is, is that these, are, I'm sure, are a little bit higher on, the, on here, are they? Or is that because you've drawn me with an incredibly small head? It seems like the coats are much closer together in, mm. on the drawing. Because it's right. making my chest look wider mm -hmm. when it's... Okay. Yeah, we could add... Well, that's what you know about the drawing, you know, that's, yeah. like, that's a simple request. Yes. Yes. Well, I like the three layers much better. I mean, yes. you know, it's got more because it pizzazz about it, and it kind of balances out with the sleeves better as well. I think. Yeah, it's it's actually hand stitched all this, which has been really lovely. I think you've done a good job of that. Okay. <laughs> well done. Yeah. And yes, it's going well. I think it's. <laughs> and uh, I think we've spotted most of the um, major concerns about fit and finish and proportion. You know, so I feel. Pretty kind of, what would I say, confident about yeah, at the moment. Rough is a triumph. This is going to be great, the rough. It's going to really, because it, it transforms the outfit once it's on. When Gris uh, and Perifus put my toile on, I feel great. Even if we need to do some adjustments, I could see it finally on him because this was just, you know, made on a mankin. Today, what we've presented to Grayson was 
a petticoat, which is the underside garment, a toile, which is a hand-draped garment over a mannequin, and then stitched to his measurements. And a great drama piece is called the ruffle. The next challenge for that will be actually using the real fabrics and then seeing how it, the ruffle keeps his wonderful wave shape. With Rachel, we'll work together to, through the process to show her how to finish a garment, how to line the garment, making sure it hasn't lost its shape and had that, that extra volume what Grayson's asked for in the petticoat. It should be a bit of a showstopper and I'm really proud of that. Uh, between now for first fitting and the next fitting, I think the biggest challenge is, is now replicating this in the actual fabrics itself. I could probably even ride the bike in it, so it's fine. <laughs> That's a good time. Creating a draft of a pattern is quite important because it reflects the garment constantly. So this is more like a blueprint of what the garment is going to finish with. I pay a lot of attention of the quality of the fabric and the colour. This is called like a hand smock. What Rachel's done is taken eight metres of fabric and actually slowly hand stitch it down so it gives this effect. Most of the parts of these garments uh, are hand stitch. The jacket has to be tailored in a very nice way, especially the back part needs to be really clean. Now I think it's time that we looked at the ruffle, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's going to look amazing. So you say the inside of all the layers are going to have a different colour? Yeah, it's just like a very transparent effect because it's just tool. So they're going to literally have ended up with three layers of collars around the collar. You cannot use a machine to do it. <laughs> this is the only way. They're quite sporty, the tights. Are these the right tights? Right. Does that mean tightening? Yeah, it works. It's looking a bit like a John McEnroe tribute act now. I like the way the petticoat just shows a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to put it. <laughs> I feel like one of those birds of paradise, you know, <laughs> scratching around on the jungle floor. Like me. It's still actually not on my waist, it's still a bit below my waist. Below. That is on the snug side. That's definitely not, not below. Below. Okay, the PA is to resist all. The pink, I have a little bit of pink here, that definitely wins at the back there, so, you know, people are in that half of the hall when I'm shaking hands. <laughs> and I think that Rachel has done a fabulous job. We're at the Royal Festival Hall today. It's a great day, it's a graduation day, and Grayson looks amazing. It's been an amazing journey for Rachel and the university. I think it looks fabulous, and I'm really happy with the result. I feel great, I feel very chancellor-ish, whatever that is. And I think the competition was a masterstroke idea. It's a great way of showcasing how brilliant the students are here. I mean, Rachel has done a superb job.